Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, thanks for tuning into another video. So it's good, good to be back here making a video again. Um, yeah, it's been a little bit of a weird couple of days. My state here in South Australia has actually gone back into lockdown. Uh, I've got about four or five more days left. Um, yeah, we had the Delta strain, had a breakout interstate and it's, yeah, unfortunately made its way across the border. So hopefully we can uh, nip it in the butt and get rid of it and... Uh, get back to normal life as soon as possible but um so yeah i've got a little bit of little bit of spare time due to work not being able to open um so yeah i've got a couple of action figure reviews to do um just last week i uh you know before lockdown i was able to go and grab a couple of figures to review so i'm uh I'm excited. Uh, wandered into Big W last week. So I've been sitting on this figure for a few days now. Um, and they've dropped this one so far. I haven't seen the other two from the wave. Uh, the Luke Skywalker Endor and the Tusken Raider. I haven't seen them yet. Um, probably more so just hoping for the Luke to come out, to be honest. Um, but yeah, these there was about seven or eight of these on the pegs. But yeah, Death Star Droid, also known as RA-7, I think. Uh, looks great on the card. Um, and to be honest, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to open it. But I'm going to talk about the figure anyway, because I do have two others. And we'll compare it to this one, because it is an old an old figure, simply re-released. But it does look nice on the card. And I sort of like the purple glows. I feel like it would look great next to the power droid, the gonk droid. So I think I'm going to leave this one carded and display that with the gonk droid. I think they'd just be a cool pair together, to be honest. Um, but it is VC197. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of kind of just itching for the Ahsoka and Maul to hit soon. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the update of Endor Luke. So let's uh let's take a take a closer look at this one and the previous versions all right here is the so-called death star droid or ra7 um so i thought we could just get a close look at the figure in the packaging no we won't we'll go do this first uh, so here is the figure uh this is dated at 2008 so we're looking at a 13 year old figure here um it's been repacked numerous times in action figure sets. Uh, it is basically a uh, just a builder droid uh, from back in the Legacy Collection. So you get these really easily removable limbs, head. Um, so yeah, back in the day in the Legacy Collection, you'd buy a full wave and each figure would come with a part to add to it. So maybe a leg, maybe a torso, um, arm, head, etc. So um, yeah, this is what they're what they're giving us. This is a reasonably clean looking one, um, but not not terrible. It just it could, it could be so much better because <laughs> they've done so much better recently. Um, so yeah, this what you see here is basically a you know slight repaint, but aside from that, not a lot else going on. Uh, one thing they've managed to do is. Give him a little bit more of a shine. Uh, they haven't gone with the vac metal um, techniques that they've used in the past, but he's definitely got a little bit more of a bit of a gloss shine to him, um, and the sort of weathering and all the cracks and grooves actually looks pretty good. Um, weathering on the legs, so uh, yeah, I could complain all day about it being a basic repack, but. Um, I'm not because it actually looks really good in, on the card. It's a nice aesthetic. I, I think we'd all prefer like a nice vac metal version, like the vintage one, and some of the figures we had in the sort of '90s and 2000s. Um, but yeah, not this time. Um, but it's okay. Now I mentioned I'd like I like the card back. That's what that's why I love. I love that sort of purple. Um, so I got the Power Droid, and I personally think these two just look fantastic together. The classic Star Wars cards. Um, I'm not not the biggest fan of the 50th anniversary. Like it's not a sticker, but print on the top of the card. I wish they could have done put a sticker on the bubble that was easily removable for those that want to have a, like a nice clean card. Um, but yeah, I understand having to use them for you know marketing for the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm. But yeah, like I said, a sticker on the bubble would not go astray. That way you can keep that the same as that and keep them all nice and uniform. 
Um, but yeah, I think these two look fantastic together. So I'm, I'm going to keep both of these in the packaging. Um, if you know, if these end up going marked down, I may get another one to open. But I don't really need one. I have, I think I have three of this one. Um, so I have one on Rogue One shelf, a New Hope shelf, and then I think I've got one somewhere else. I may just only have some extra parts. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much the review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Death Star droid. I do love that card. They are really, really trying to knock over the 96, which were, you know, particularly card collectors are really, really itching to get. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully see some more soon. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I know it wasn't super in depth, but uh, I think I did what I could, <laughs> considering. Um, but if you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. It definitely helps the channel out. And uh, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, consider becoming a member too. Because everything definitely helps out the channel. And um, yeah, it's, it's not much at all. So definitely check that out. That would be fantastic. Alright, thanks guys. Got another video coming right up. Until then, may the force be with you. Always.